This is a pool player, and the uh, person's name is Sean. And if you're on the call, you can uh, let me know at some point, and I'll recognize you. Otherwise, I'll just answer it myself. Okay, so Sean says, when I play in competition, sometimes, not all the time, but a good majority of the time, it's like I'm in an anticipatory state. I want to peek around the corner to see if I make the ball. I also lose my feel. It's like I am in a confused state at the table and can't direct my attention and make my body do what I want. I miss shots that I should never miss for a player of my caliber and talent. The thoughts don't choke are the problem for me. I'm sorry, the thoughts don't choke aren't the problem for me. It's more of a physiological, physical issue. I feel disoriented and my legs stiffen up. I'm playing a lot right now and I'm doing a lot of tournaments and gambling right now. And my thinking is I'm just going to have that quantum leap moment. I'll eventually adjust to the pressure. I did win a tournament with some quality amateur players to put me into another tournament in which the nerves really hit me and I didn't play as well as I did in the qualifier. Would be interesting your feedback on the physical, physiological stuff. Like I said, the thoughts choking aren't the issue. Okay, uh, the reason I like this question so much is because I get to address probably the biggest myth out there that stops athletes, competitors, and performers from getting to the core of the issue and clearing it. It's this idea that I just have a, I just have a physical issue, Craig. It's not, a, it's not a mental issue. This is a diagram that I'm constantly drawing for all my clients, and it falls under the A for awareness in my race formula. When I help people understand, that's what we're gonna do right now with this case, and it applies to all competitors it, to some degree. Now, lots of competitors, performers, athletes, it doesn't affect them so much, but we all have a certain amount of this, what I'm gonna to explain to you in a minute. And that is, you have to understand. So, Go into the base diagram and model that we operate under. We've got a conscious mind and an unconscious mind, all right? When I say mental emotional, which is what I'm here for, which is what I do, which is what mental toughness is all about, we have those two functions of the mind, if you will. Mind is a general term. Some people refer to it thinking it's just the brain. No. To me, and you'll get all kinds of... Um, different definitions, but the mind is the collective intelligence of all the cells in your body, including your brain. That means we have some of those cells in our body that are allocated to conscious thinking, mostly here in the prefrontal cortex, and then many more, 90% allocated to unconscious intelligence, right? You might have heard the term unconscious be referred to as subconscious. So when we understand this, that the unconscious mind controls the body, then literally almost everything is a mental emotional issue if we're talking about something that's holding us back, except for things like you just don't have the skill, you've never practiced it, you've never learned it. Right? Remember, performance equals potential minus interference. That's the bottom line to everything. That's the foundation. You get rid of your interference, you will perform to your potential. We all have different interference. It's a lifelong practice to get rid of it, to perform more consistently to our best. Our potential is ever increasing based on gaining skills and, and knowledge and, and practicing um, becoming more consistent. But Clearing the interference is the bulk of it all, okay? So your unconscious mind controls your body. All right, so, so here's what he says. The thoughts don't choke aren't the problem for me. I buy that. That's correct. He's not going up there thinking consciously up here in the top part, the top block, don't choke, don't choke, and then making himself nervous with those thoughts up there. That's not what he's doing. So, but the error is, he says, it's more of a physiological, physical issue. But those physiological issues, disoriented legs stiffen up, what else did he say? Uh, nerves really hit me. All those things are interference. Yes, it manifests itself 
in physical bodily expression, but it is controlled by the un unconscious part of our mind. So that's where we have to go to solve the problem. That is the bottom line.